I wanted to provide one more insight here, some update. Um, I find it rather surprising that the Linux kernel developers here in the Linux Next Git merged a rather, I would say, controversial SIFS DSMB3 of the internet file server stuff as used in Windows and as reverse engineered and nowadays protocols somewhat published uh, with Zamba obviously on Linux and Mac. And um, I have some new sets of course praising this as CA high performance SIFS SMB3 server. However, I have to say, so what, what is this a subset of performance Reddit op uh, operations belong in kernel space or they claim they belong in kernel space. I don't agree with this. Other subsets with belong to operations uh, related something. Um, so I find this a very large mistake because the Linux kernel, uh, recurring theme, microkernel stuff, the Linux kernel is a monolithic kernel. There's already too much in there of each keyboard mouse driver or floppy driver can crash everything else and sometimes it does, recurring theme. And ironically, once upon a time, those who are as long in the Linux open source sphere as uh, me might know that there once upon a time was an attempt for tux of kernel in kernel web servers like yeah and partially run within custom version linux kernel tux enable scatter gather dma for page cache directory network um, also only static pages it never took much off it was however it never made it in kernel um, However, some distributions like Red Hat, Suze and Fedora shipped it probably for benchmarking reasons of, hey, look how many static pages we can serve for marketing reasons. Product status took, took this completely unnecessary today the two, also yet yeah, today the two six of like a 15 years ago can provide nearly the same static file server performance as the 2.4 kernel did with Tux. Also yeah, nowadays um, so much direct IO and uh, new network API and uh, I O ring and stuff and high performance user space and multi thread and everything. It's like, yeah. Back in the day, the stability is uh, significant. Oh, so, yeah, is in 15 years ago, they couldn't, because C and monolithic kernel, they couldn't implement a stable. It's like, yeah, it, it was not very stable, but Fedora, Sousa, Red Hat shipped it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Stability is significantly better in user space. Like, no shit, yeah. Like, it's like, seriously, what the heck? Died because it no longer serves a purpose. I want it to serve static files very efficiently. I want to support Lush uh, There are some more modern uh, engine and currently favorite. And what didn't work for web server now is necessary for SIFS D of SMB3. It's like, uh, seriously, it's like, what the. Heck, are you okay. kidding me? Um, I have no words. Recurring theme here, not impressed anymore with everything in the kitchen sink. I, the Spectre meltdown and um, virtualization and everything, I would rather see more address space separation, even drivers for mice and everything and user space. And um, yeah, there goes. Also, Linux, I mean, previously, um, people were complaining of security and stability of Windows and stuff. Nowadays, um, I have to say the Linux kernel recurring theme here, not the best track record um, in the last decades. And um, with this, they somewhat, I mean, not only putting everything in one address space and take surface of trusted code base and so on. Be what is the issue? Because first of all, it, it's somewhat complex code, certainly more complex than web server. And having that in kernel, I mean, sure, you don't need to use it. So maybe don't enable config uh, sys d or so. Uh, here is uh, uh, seen as MB server of, you can't mix this stuff up. Sure, don't enable it. But then, of course, if probably most experts would normally agree that this is not a good idea, um, maybe it should not be in the kernel in the first place, right? You could always say, yeah, but don't enable it and, and run Zumba like you did in user space. But yeah, maybe we also don't need to clutter the millions of lines of code that are the Linux kernel, which by the way, Funch did someone recently. Linux kernel, 
k log of what is the answer to that 15 million also yes yeah, some time ago people ask on stack exchange 15 plus million lines of code um do we have here linux kernel 20 yeah it was already 20 million according to some um quick googling here of 26 yeah 2616 obviously uh what they write here even Linux 2020 if the 27 this was a little bit outdated if we um 1.3 million lines of system d it's like oh yeah, um, it's, yeah, um, I, I need more time and research. Sure, there is um, Haiku, there is L4, um, there are things in between and, and stuff, but um, I would preferably not see and, yeah, I really need to do some um, modern code because in its system, sure, this is also my, my grief with system D of everything in the kitchen sink, repeating the same thing of DHCP and server and all kinds of crypto setup and whatnot. It's like, yeah. Anyway, um, leave in the comments below what you think. I don't think it's a good idea. Um, I hope this will eventually be uh, deleted. These are the kinds of things. Also, um, some, some new sites of applauding each deletion of old 386 or spark station um, but yet uh, applauding uh, adding way too many lines of code to the trusted compute base there that is a file server thing marco asks for people that need this would rather see a macro vm for that uh, kernel web server or something apart from network adapter speed is it still the limit no um well, there is quite some hefty network stuff, right? But um, who cares? Uh, there also merge some Rust code. The, the Rust code will be an experiment and optional for the time being, but um, yeah, cross-compiling this uh, certainly not going to be the most fun. Um, well, even on slow machines, if you have a slow machine, of course, this could make this a little bit faster. But I would really say in this, my, my general uh, recurring advice here is in this, this Today's and the last decades connected world from uh, the United States of um, America to Australia um, and, and so on, that um, and, and space station and, 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 and rovers on Mars and stuff, and the upcoming moon base, uh, we certainly want probably a little bit more secure stuff. And a little bit more secure does not mean putting everything in one address space. And, even if the performance is not the super most amazing, I would, among, well, not, not the super most amazing, if, if it's 10% slower, um, sure, then you want it secure. I would rather have it secure than um, having it 10% faster and, and people breaking into my corporate network. And the other thing is then uh, we should have what is long overdue, make processes that are optimized for uh, what kind some some kind of high performance uh, multi address space calling convention thing and whatever that might be of um yeah exactly what was neglected the x86 cpu is so complex yet no acceleration of any sort for micro kernel kind of multi-server systems and as seen what apple could do performance wise with a M1 would be really nice to see some more address space separating microkernel optimizations. Anyway, I wanted to share this, especially providing some context uh, because the problem is um, a lot of websites did not study computer science and always think everything that is landing somewhere is a good idea and are generally providing the uh, recurring fact checking of is it really a good idea <laughs> in my opinion? No, please not. But anyway, I, I still got a microkernel to write that is better than Minix 3 and L4. Hope you learned something. Leave in the comments below what you think. Um, and if you still remember the ill-fated Tux web server thing. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I need some financial basic income to write microkernel stuff and prove a point. Um, and certainly more. Sure, there are microkernel and also there is People always asking me about what is successful. One of the most successful QNX, of course, not free and open source, but there you have it. Um, they are amazing performing and 
successful microkernels just that they are not as free as for us to daily use them, but some car uh, stereos and, and other industrial stuff certainly use that. But yeah, hope to see you soon for all these fun details to come.